Along with this seasonal flu, there's another virus making the rounds and it can be harder to overcome. Local time medical specialist Christy Kruger is here now with today's HealthCast. Well, it's that time of the year when a lot of people are traveling in very close quarters, increasing the chances of catching norovirus, which is also a highly contagious infection that can cause severe gastrointestinal intestinal rather upset. Everyone's at risk for it. You can get it through almost anything. Eating, drinking, being around people. It's very easily transmitted. So there are particles that are extremely contagious, extremely infectious. Infectious disease specialist, you saw him right there, Dr. Ignacio Echenique, says that norovirus cannot be treated with antibiotics and those who get sick with it need to avoid contact with other people to keep it from spreading. Now, routinely washing your hands, always a good idea, wiping down surfaces, that can reduce the risk of getting and even spreading this norovirus. Also in today's health news, a new long-term study is disputing the notion that social media leads to depression. That's been a thing that we've been studying a lot lately. The study focused on adolescents in particular as well as college students. Research findings published in the Journal of Clinical Science just today revealed that social media use in young people did not actually lead to depressive symptoms later on. In fact, the study found that adolescent girls actually turned to social media to connect with others and feel better about themselves. Scientists will now further examine the motivations for using social media to help guide parents as well as policymakers. That's your HealthCast today. I'm Christy Krueger.